What is going on everyone? Marcel here and today I have for you a new video. What we're going to talk about is the racing line on the F1 2021 game. Because in my opinion, people with racing line, mainly amateurs, I wouldn't say like people that are racing in higher leagues with racing line, they probably are aware about the fact that the racing line is not 100% correct like the one that Hope Masters shows you in the game as an assist. We are not allowed to use it anyways in esports, but I would like to show you um, how much different it is. So yeah, we're gonna look at Time Trail Suzuka to show you that. Because on Suzuka there's a couple of corners where I can show you what I mean with driving, how it's realistically it intended with the racing line, and how we do it on the sim to go faster. Which wouldn't work in real life. All right, because there's differences between the real racing line, which is the one that Codemasters tries to show you, and then there's the sim racing line. And the sim racing line is in a couple of corners really, really unique and different, where you gain time, and especially on Suzuka, this is the wrong car. I'm so used to iRacing right now that I already selected W12. Red Bull, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. There we go, this is the correct car. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're back in the correct car and I'm gonna reset my ghost because I haven't driven that phone game now ever since the season stopped. I have new brakes. Well, I have the same brakes, but I mean, I've changed my brake settings. I run 100 BRF now again, uh, which I also did before, but now I use, I think it is the 95 rubbers, like the, stif the stiffest rubbers on the load cell pedal from attack whatever we're just gonna use this um and yeah so first of all to talk you through what i mean with rear racing line and sim racing line so in rear racing it is like this if you go through corner especially if it's like more like a straight corner which that's for example hockenheim or after the happening at the long right hander you want to stay full throttle and scrub off as minimum speed due to fraction with your wheel and inputs as possible to go faster. So of course you're turning because you have to make, like it's not a full straight line and in a couple of corners this also applies but the most it doesn't. So you kind of turn as little as possible to take the full radius of the corner while it's going full throttle because the speed you can carry through there is higher than if you would stay to the full inside of the corner or the straight, you know what I mean. And on sim, it doesn't work like that. You can, I mean, you lose a bit of time, but not as much. So you kind of just stick to the inside. And I will show you that now. So right here, of course, there's the normal racing line where you go from apex to apex to apex right that is normal that also applies in real life but what doesn't apply in real life is for example what we do here in this corner like we go to the exit but we go immediately to the left here in real life i will show you later that is what the racing line will show you and which will cost you a lot of lap time like here it doesn't make sense to go to the inside right this just loses you time but here for example you want to go to the inside which is the normal racing line and then on this corner here usually you would, like this is the sim racing line, you stay as close as you can to the inside and trust me this gains you a couple of thousands and it matters. And this like will apply throughout your whole kind of driving style that you will develop. Same here. I mean in real life you can also go here but you can cut a tiny bit more and then drive over. Doesn't gain you too much but it gains you a bit. Then also here. This gains you actually big time. Staying here normally, you see the curb on the exit? Why is there a curb? Because they take that line in real life. We don't. This is invalid, but it doesn't matter. We just want a delta for now. God. Two seconds of pace. Great stuff. And invalid. Let's talk you through it, what I mean with the sim racing line. So here, of course, you carry as much speed as possible. That's quite normal. Also in real life, without like minimizing any kind of scrub off. Then we take the normal racing lines right here.
That's pretty much the same everywhere. Same as in this section. We just pick out our breaking points. Reference points, however you want to call it. And that's where you break. But it's like I don't really look at them. Like here. I look into the corner. An exit. I'm focused on the exit, of course. But now here, look. We stay on the inside. Completely on the inside. You wouldn't do that in real life because you would scrub off too much speed. You just would not do that. It would not make sense. And the same thing applies to 130R. And that's not just on Suzuka, it's on many places in the game. And not just in the game, but in general, in sim racing. You will also see that on different kind of games. This is not the greatest lap, I think it should be a 0.7. It's 6 tenths of the world record pace, but you can see what I mean. And with how to drive without a racing line, I think we should do a separate video on that. If you are interested in hearing about this, I can also do it there. But now, we turn on the racing line and I will break accordingly what the racing line tells me. This will be weird because I haven't driven it in years. We'll take the full racing line just to make sure you see what I mean. Most of you probably use it in corners only. But you can already see where the car is going. So. We break at this point we really follow the racing line so you also don't cut corners and stuff then look here so you open up the corner now full speed of course in the green sections you can see we lose a bit of time down the straight because we didn't carry momentum now you brake accelerate lift brake a bit accelerate lift a bit then brake that's really strange honestly but now you can already see we're staying to the outside like we don't open uh, we, we keep the steering open as much as we can we don't go to the inside and if you look closely to the delta you will see that we are losing lap time there crucial lap time now again heavy braking and now this is the corner where i mean look at the delta now we have a good exit that's perfect but you let the steering open and we lose I think half a tenth if I look correctly that was half a tenth we can do it another lap so I'll show you also here you lose a bit of lap time not much but now especially in 130R look at this if we take the corner how it's intended in real life we lose lap time that's why the racing line is limiting you. Especially if we actually drive every single corner exactly how the game tells us. And this was 6 times slower even than the lap before. 1.2 seconds of the world record. And we are not warmed up. So if you really break at the spot where the racing line tells you racing line will just slow you down you can see we break too long here then these sections we apparently should lift which it's not required we don't go to the left here we lose another half a tenth a bit of braking which is normal you can do that you don't need to you can also just lift i think if i remember correctly you now the racing line is messing with my head and here look at this again we have a decent exit and we take it how they would take it in real life. We open, like honestly, even the racing line there tells you a bit too little. They would actually go completely to the left. Just to open the steering wheel. And we lost another half a tenth. And that's what I mean also here again. Let's look at 130R. So we carry in with four and a half tenths down. And we will probably be at around five tenths at the exit. Because we don't go to the left. Yeah, it goes up to nearly five tenths. So even in such a small corner, and that's what I mean, also here, you would like finish your lap like this, look how much we are gaining, if we do that, compared to if we don't do it. And that's what I mean, I think you can now clearly see what happens if you use the racing line, accordingly to the game, don't trust the racing line fully, if you use it, 
as a reference and you don't want to turn it off yet, still make your own lines and break a bit later or earlier, depending on which corner. Sometimes it lies to you, the inputs are not fully correct. That's how code masters think it works. That's like the general advice that they are giving for each corner type if you would drive it accordingly to the realistic racing line with their cars. Which doesn't just apply normally. Like in this corner, you probably just need to lift and can cut a bit. And it's just a thing of getting used to. And if you want to, we can also make a separate video on that. In case you would like to see that, let me know. I will turn this thing off again. Um, you know what, let, let's do another lap with Racing Light off. Let's see how much it affects me. And then we will go to the outro. I don't know, maybe it will be a horrible lap now. <laughs> or Racing Light, I don't know. It feels already a bit more natural. Not seeing that thing on the road. We go to the outside again, carry a bit more momentum. There you can see we are green on the delta, more or less the same as before, even a bit quicker, more momentum. Was a bit too early with the upshift. Don't need to break for that corner, even though you can. This was much better than before. But we stay to the inside because we don't want to lose half a tent. We're not getting close to the world record now in these couple of laps. There we go. First lap without racing line. 0.7. And we are exactly half a second off. Um, I think that tells you all. And if you want a video on how to turn off the racing line, what tips I can give you, what I'm looking for on the track, um, what I would avoid doing and how to get used to it the fastest way, let me know in the comments and we will make a different video on that. And until then, don't forget, check out the socials, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment how you like the video. I will see you in the next one, everyone. Peace.